Uh. Yeah. Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we want to learn on how to differentiate between isometric projection and oblique projection. Now, let me assume that this is my baseline this way. Right? And we know in any time you are drawing any projection, either in isometric or neutrographic, we're having three different axes the X, the Y, and the Z. Now, if you are drawing in isometric projection, you stick with what? Your 30 and 60 degree set square. That means you stick with what? Your 30 degree, right? Set square. And also you stick with what? Your T square. So drawing isometric projection, you are dealing with this set square. Now, if I want to draw this, I'll just draw my three axes. The first one that we have is the we have the Y this way, right? And we have what is called the X. Let's say this is the X axis this way, and we have what is called the Z axis this way. Now, what do you notice? They are both inclined at an angle of what? Of 30 degree to the horizontal. It meaning that this is my horizontal line between this axis to the horizontal line is given as what? As 30 degree. From here to here is what is 30 degree. And in between this and this also we have 30 degree right so the angle here is what 30 degree so i'm calling this this can be x this can be z or this can be x and this can be z depending on what the diagram is suggesting but the y always remain intact the y represents the height now but when we are told, remember, I'm drawing this, the inclined axis of this T square here, of this set square here, is 30 degree, right? Now, if I want to now draw in, auto in um, oblique projection, I'll do the same thing. I'll pick up what I'll be dealing with to be my 45 degree set square. This is what we'll call the 45 degree set square here. So this is what I'll be sticking with. Now, what I'll do is, if I pick a point here, this way right so it means that I'll draw the vertical axis this will be the y axis right now what I will now do is when I'm dealing with my oblique I'm always using 45 degree so this will now be at an angle of what 45 degree so my X will be at an angle of what 45 degree to the horizontal then here will be my z this way right so it means that one of the axes of the oblique projection is at an angle of what of 45 degree so the angle between here is given as what 45 degree right so this will be my x my z and what the y or sometimes this 45 degree can be in the other side the left hand side why the 180 will be on the right hand side so you have 45 degree and what and zero degree here it means both axes are in what 30 degree now let me now make you understand something now I want to now draw the object that is placed just at the center of this figure here and let's see what is going to happen. Now I want to draw this object in isometric projection. Now if you look closely, right, I will assume that this line here is my x axis, right, or I will say is my y axis, my z axis and here is my what? my x-axis right so i'll say that the length here is 60. so i'll pick my rule and i'll come to this point here and measure what 60. 
So from this point here on the diagram here, which is this point here, we are going to measure 60. So I'm going to measure my 60. From 0 to 6 is giving us what? As 60. Right? And the other aspect here, from that point to the other side also, the length there is giving us what? As 60. That is from here to what? To here, 60. So I'll come here and I'm going to measure 60. Right? And the height is giving us what? From here to here is what? 25. So I'm going to measure 25. This is 25 here. So now, since I'm doing isometric, I'm going to be sticking with what? My 30 and 60 degrees square. squared. So all those points I measured here, I'm going to project them up this way. And I'll come here also. I'll project up this way. And what I use to draw here, I will use it to connect here and the other line this way. Turn it that way around this way like this. What I use to draw here, I will move it to connect here to this point this way with faint line. And I'll move it to the other point too, ensuring that I'm having parallel lines. Now when I turn it this way to form a complete box, what I use to draw this, I'll move it to get to this point so that I'm going to close it up. So this is a box in what? In isometric here we are not done now let's now do this in oblique the same thing will happen remember just to save our time we said that this axis here is 60 so I'm going to measure 60 we know from here to here given as what as 60 right that's like we measured here if I come here I'm going to place it here and I'll mark right similarly the other axis from here to here also is given as what as 60 now the difference is that if I'm dealing with oblique here, I'm going to be working with what? My 45 degrees square. Now I'll place it at those points. I am going to elongate it upward this way. Like this. And I'll come here also. I'm going to elongate it upward this way. Right? And what is the height? We said the height is given as what? 25 from here to here right so if i come here i'll just from here mark what 25 then i'll close it up now for me to draw a parallel like this i will be using my what my t square i'll just connect from here to a faint line and for me to draw the angle 45 degree i will only use my 45 degree set square ensuring that the lines are what are parallel right so this and I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing here too, I'll do this, because what I use to draw this, I'll use to draw this, then I'll close it up with this, this way. You can see that? Now I've brought out the box. This is in oblique, this is in isometric. We are not done, let me just zoom it up a little bit so you see what I'm talking about. Now see what we have here. Now we're still drawing out this shape here. Now if you look closely, let's focus now on um, isometric. Discover that from here to here is fully thickened, right? Now we're taking it at this point here, this way. From here to here is fully thickened. Right? Now, if you look again from here to here, which is also at this axis here is also fully thickened so I'll thicken it right now if you look closely again from here to here is fully thickened which is from here to here so I'll thicken it this way right now from here to here is ticking which is from here to here but we don't know the distance so if you look at our diagram now we know that the entire length from here to here is 60 
Now, if you remove this 20 from 60, you have 40. So it means that from this point here to this point here is given as what? As 40. So I'm going to take it. So you can see that. Now, also from here to here is also ticking but well, since i'm doing isometric i'm going to stick with my 30 degrees set square using the axis of 30 and i'm going to take in from here to here you can see that also from here to here is ticking which is from here to here so i'm going to take in it at this point here Similarly, if I turn it this way around, from here to here is thickened, which is from here to here. It's also thickened, right? Now, if you look closely, from this point on the diagram to this point here, it's giving us what? It's giving us 10, which is from here to around there, which is 10. So I'll just take my C square, my C square, and I'll project this downward a little bit here. And also at this point two here, right? At this point here, here, and I'll measure ten on that line. So if I measure the ten from here to here, it's giving us ten, right? So I'm going to tick in it, right? And I'll if you look at the diagram from here to the other end is ticking, which is from here to this end. One thing is certain that the line is parallel to each other. So I'll just take my um, my C square. I might see square take it to this point and I'll draw a line taking it from here to this point where I can actually close here up this way right now similarly from here to here is ticking which is from here to somewhere around here which is also ticking so I'll use my C square I don't have to measure because they are parallel so I'll just see my C square place it on my wall on my T square and move it to this point here then i'm going to what tick in it right similarly the same thing here too i'm going to tick in from here to here this way right then to look closely from here to here is closed which will be from here to here i'll join them together then i'm going to be having this this way right i'm going to be having this this way then i'm going to close them up because it's ticking as shown in the diagram now what we just did here we've drawn in what in isometric now we want to replicate the same thing that we did in our diagram here on this and see what will really happen now from here in diagram from here to here is ticking so i will tick in from here to here also which is ticking so i'm having this this way right if i want to i'm going to tick in it like that this way right and um the height also from here to here which is also from here to here is also ticking i'm ticking it right similarly now we are dealing with the oblique you're focusing using more of your word 45 degrees a square so we know that from here to here is ticking which is from here to here i'm going to take in it using my 45 degrees a square right also from here to here is giving us um from here to here is giving us um we don't know yet but we know that from this point to this point is 60 similarly from this point to this point also 60 so i'll take i'll remove we know that if i measure here if i measure here we know that it's 30 right so from here to here it's giving us is um i mean it is um 40 right so if i place it here i'll come here and i'm going to mark my 40 here you just measure 40 just like you showing in the diagram right so I'm going to just use my rule, then I'll close it up. Right now, the same thing is happening from here to here, sticking just like I showed in the diagram. 
So I'm going to use my 45 degrees set square, just like I use for this. I'm going to close here up with this line this way, right? And I will also close here up like this because here is closed up. Now this is coming down. This also will be what coming down, and this also be coming down. So I will use this. This will come down this way. And this is also going to come down this way right and I'm going to close them up for distance between here and here is given as 10 as shown in the diagram I'll come here I'll mark the 10 and I'll close it up my to degrees square you can see that then close here up Then close it up and use the five. Use your see you're using your 180 or you see zero degree the line. You just use the same thing and draw this right. You move it here also. You do the same thing here and you draw this to touch this. Now then I'll close here up this way. With my 45 degrees square, and I'll close it up to this way. With my 45 degrees square, and we'll be having this and this. So, this is what we have. So, this is in oblique, and this is in isometric the main difference is just this guy is um this guy is dealing with what 45 degree c square while this is dealing with what one with 60 and what and 30 degrees c square so here we focus more 30 here we focus more 35 and what 180 i will say zero degree so if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.